Hey everyone, I'm Colin here at a Trailer. Today we have a 2019 Toyota Tundra. And we're going to take a look at and show you how to install these Weston E-Series round Nerf bars. And these Nerf bars are going to be a great addition for your Tundra. They're going to provide you with that step to be able to comfortably and safely climb up into the Tundra. These bars are going to add a nice look to your Tundra. What I really like is it got that soft curved ending rather than coming straight out and then curving and going back in. It's just going to give it a nice sleek and street style look. Each entryway is going to have a non-slip pad. That's going to help make sure that there's, if there's wet conditions outside, you're not going to slip while trying to climb up in the cab of your truck. It's also going to be constructed out of a durable polymer, which is going to be very durable. It's going to hold up great to all of the elements. It is going to come with two Nerf bars, one for each side. It's going to be constructed out of a very durable steel with a black powder coated finish. That's going to make sure that it's long lasting and rust resistant. Another thing I really like about these Nerf bars is that they are very low profile. You're not going to add hardly any width to your Tundra, but they're going to be there when you need them as you open your door. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get them installed. Now you'll notice we have our Tundra up on a lift. This is just so we can show you guys what we're doing with the camera. This can be easily done in your driveway or in your garage, really wherever is convenient. The first step though is we got to remove some factory bolts that are on the underside of our the body of our truck. It's going to be one right here, two more right here, and then two more towards the back. Now we've removed the first two sets. Back here, we're going to have two sets of bolts. We need to leave the ones right here that are closer towards the front of the truck and remove the ones towards the bed. And now we're going to get our brackets loosely installed. Each bracket does have an engraving letting you know which position it's supposed to be in. This one says DF, which means driver and front. You're going to have two others that say DC for driver center and then DR for driver rear. This front bracket is going to go up here. You can see it has the curve. We're going to line it up right there and then loosely install the hardware. We have a bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer. We're going to keep all of the brackets loosely installed so we can make adjustments if we need to. Make sure you have that wiggle room and then we'll move on to the next one. It's going to say DC for driver center. And then our rear one. And now we're going to get the Nerf bar in place. Don't forget to double check on the wrapping to make sure you have the driver's side Nerf bar. How you can tell is that these two brackets are sitting closer together. So you're going to have two sets of bolts that are closer together on this side, and then these are going to be farther away. Now we're just going to bring it up and just set it on the brackets. Make sure everything lines up properly. And this is why we left the brackets loose, so we can make adjustments if need be. Now we'll take our bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer and just loosely install it so that our Nerf bar stays in place. We'll do one on each bracket. Now you can see on this bracket right here, the holes are not lining up, which is why we left the brackets loose so we could just move it over and then get our bolt loosely installed. Now that our Nerf bar is in place, we'll go back to each section and get the rest of the hardware installed. Before we tighten everything down, we want to make sure that our Nerf bar is set in the right place and that it's not rubbing up against anything. So we just need to tilt it up slightly, make sure that it is parallel with the ground. Now we also want to make sure that it's not making any contact with our mud flap. It does sit pretty close, but there is still a gap, so we're good to tighten everything down. Now we'll begin to tighten everything down using a 13 millimeter socket and wrench. We're going to start on the Nerf bar. You don't need it too tight, just get it pretty snug, and then move on. Once your Nerf bar is tightened down to your brackets, we'll go and tighten down the brackets to the vehicle. Once everything is secure, just repeat this whole process for the other side. Well, thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for our look at and install of the Weston E-Series round Nerf bars on our 2019 Toyota Tundra.